Hello guys and girls, it's Lurks here, welcome to my channel. And today, how to reset the tyre pressure warning light on a Volkswagen Golf. So if you're driving along in your Volkswagen Golf and you've got this tyre pressure warning light permanently lit, it means you've got low pressure on one of your tyres. Don't get deflated. So the first thing to do is check the pressures on all four tyres. Make sure they're exactly what they should be. Now I won't give you the pressures because obviously depending on what sort of alloy wheels and tyres you've got, they will all vary make sure you haven't got a puncture or one of them is a bit flat now on my front driver's side it is a little bit flat so I'm just going to pump it up old school with a foot pump just put some air in here now I have actually got a gauge on this foot pump but they're not very accurate so I've also got a manual gauge so I've pumped it up to about 38 I'm just going to put in this tire pressure gauge and we're reading 38, 39 which is perfect. So now go into the car, put the ignition on and in the glove box you've got a small tire pressure button which is here. Now what you do is just push that in and hold it for three seconds and the dashboard will make a beeping noise and the light will go out. So as soon as you go for a drive, that light will not reappear because the computers will understand that all the tyre pressures are now the same. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit tired after that video. And a good mechanic always has a lovely cup of tea. Hey, careful, man. There's a beverage here, huh? If you would like more how-tos and helpful tips and life hacks, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, guys and girls. If you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. Thanks for watching.